Coming into your YouTube airwaves, I'm Vaughn, the Stat Man, and welcome to the Stat Room. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Vaughn the Stat Man. You can follow me on Twitter, at Vaughn the Stat Man. And guys, check out my website, VaughnTheStatMan.com. So these are some of the hot plays from this week's WNBA, NBA, or NFL games. So without wasting any more of you guys' time, let's break it down. Welcome back, everyone. Again, I am Vaughn the Stat Man, and I do have some solid picks in store for you guys today. And I also have a Patreon, guys. So if you are interested in the rest of the picks that I will come up with, you can go to the description section of this video and you can sign up for my Patreon there. And if you've watched me more than three times, hit that bell icon, hit that subscribe button, and like this video because you know you love me. And make sure that bell icon is on because these picks can go up, they can go down, and sometimes they can absolutely remove these picks off the board so without wasting any more of you guys time let's get right into it just a quick recap from the two picks that i gave you in thursday night football i actually gave you more than that but if you paid attention to my last video i gave you those two picks i had purdy to go under and then i had geno smith to go over both of those picks hit and this is the four-man winning parlay play that I sent out to my paid members on Patreon. So, guys, I had loved the locket pick. It was the best value on the market. So, guys, go on over to parlay play. Sign up. Use my code. They will match you up to $100. They will also give you an additional $5 for your first play. And they will give you a free pick. All you got to do is use my code that is on the screen. And my code is Von the Statman. So, sign up for parlay play. And let's get this money. These were five picks I sent out to my Patreon members. This was prize picks. This also hit and also got underdog is running a special guys. Use my code that you see on the screen and they will match you up to your first $1,000 and you'll get a free pick by using my code. So join the winning team. Come join me on, on underdog as well. All right, guys. So we got underdog screen pulled up. And our first pick that we're going to go down to, we're going to go look at Trevor Lawrence passing yards. Now, Trevor Lawrence is the king when it comes to overseas. This guy, when he goes to London, he is undefeated. He plays absolutely amazing. And he's going to play against a Chicago team. I don't know if Chicago is going to get there early, but I know Jacksonville, this is a home game for them. And they absolutely know how to play over there. But when it comes to the passing yards, you got Lawrence at 232.5. That's extremely high. And you also got his passing attempts at 34.5. I'll check into that a little later on. The passing attempts, I'll update on my Patreon. But for his passing yards, I believe that Lawrence goes lower than 232.5. He's going to be against a Chicago team. And I'm going to show you why I like this to go under. So I got props that cash pulled up. And if you look at Trevor Lawrence, they got his passing yards for 230.5. Now, let's look at his 2024 numbers. Now, let's look at away. Now, this game is in London. Now, officially, it's a home game for Jacksonville, but technically, it's an away game because they still have to get on a plane and travel. So, if you look at his away game so far this season, he hasn't even hit 200 passing yards and he played easier defenses. I believe that Miami is an easier defense than the defense he is about to face. So, if you go down and we look at Chicago's defense, they only give up 174 passing yards per game. This is going to be very difficult for Lawrence. I believe Jacksonville will try to run the ball more against this team. So this is the reason why we're taking Trevor Lawrence to go under his number of 230.5 passing yards. All right, so we got Trevor Lawrence for less than 232 passing yards. And when it comes to the passing TDs, guys, they're forcing you to take higher on the 1.5 passing TDs. This is a pick that if that I would say this is a dummy pick. Do not take this passing TDs for more than 1.5 unless you believe he's going to do it. I don't think he throws. I think he has one passing touchdown or less. And then his passing and rushing yards, I would stay away from that. And as any time rushing or receiving TDs, I would also stay away from that. All right, guys, let's go on over to prize picks and finish breaking it down. If you like the video so far, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. All right, guys, so we're over here on prize picks now. 
And as we stated already, that we do like Trevor Lawrence to go less than 230.5 passing yards. They got him at 9.5 rushing yards. I actually like that one, guys. I think the 9.5 rush yards will go over. Now, his 1.5 passing touchdowns is a demon. And the reason why they're giving you this as a demon, because prospects don't believe he's going to get it. When you see these demon picks, prospects don't believe it's going to hit. That's why it pays you so well. This is one where I don't believe he gets it. I think this is going to be a low scoring game. 16.5 fantasy points. That's one where I'm not sure because my spidey senses is telling me that Trevor Lawrence will rush for a touchdown in this game. So if he does rush for a touchdown and does throw for, let's say, 185 yards and a passing touchdown, and let's say he rushed for 30 yards, he'll get the 16 fantasy points. So the fantasy points, if I did take the fantasy points, I will probably take over. Pass completions, I will stay away from. Passing attempts, I believe he goes under 34.5. All right, guys, let's get our next pick. All right, guys, so now let's get our next pick. And if you look on the screen here, you see how Derrick Henry is the Green Goblin for rushing and receiving TDs. Whenever you see a Green Goblin, this is a pick that Prize Picks believes will cash, so they want to give you a lesser payout. Stay away from the Green Goblins unless you play six-man contest. Now, if you play six-man contest, then you want to get your four favorite picks and then throw in you know, a, a Green Goblin or two. All right, so without wasting any more of you guys' time, let's get this last one. So we're going to go down and we're going to go and we're going to get Swift. Now, Swift is at 56.5 rushing yards. And this Jacksonville defense, the last three running backs that faced them haven't even gone over 53 rushing yards. So I'm going to take DeAndre Swift to go less. So that will be it, guys. You got Trevor Lawrence for less than 230 passing yards and Swift for less than 56.5 rushing yards. So stay tuned for FanDuel. So now we got FanDuel pulled up, guys. I'm going to go through FanDuel real quick, guys. So at the quarterback position, guys, I am going to give you guys Kirk Cousins. I just believe he's on a roll right now, and I don't believe it's going to slow down anytime soon, especially going up against Carolina. At the running back position, I'm going to give you a running back a lot of people will not consider, but Gibbs is my favorite pick out of the running backs. I believe that he's going to be able to catch the ball out of the backfield. I know Dallas has been decent the last few weeks, but Detroit is a different animal and he's a change of pace back and he's a beast change of pace back because he has speed, elusiveness. He can run in between the tackles outside the number. So we're going to get Gibbs at the wide receiver. I'm going to stack Cousins with his main man, London. London, if you look at his last few games, look at his targets guys 13 and 12 i just like his floor i believe that even a bad game for london will be 12 fantasy points but if he gets into the end zone he could have another 20 point game and i'm expecting him to have a 20 point game all right guys so at the tight end position you got some really good tight ends on this slate guys but this tight end that i'm going to give you guys i am going to give you guys ferguson I think this is going to be a big week for Ferguson. So that's it, guys. You got Ferguson, London, Gibbs, and Cousins. So, guys, don't forget to win-win. That means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And, guys, don't forget to think in ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. Good hunting on this Sunday slate. Week 6 NFL. Love you guys. Just a quick recap for my Sunday NFL picks, guys. I got five out of six right. So as I keep telling you guys, I'm extremely hot with my picks. All right, guys, so let's get right back into this video.